today uh, we are going to be discussed about chapter 5 i mean unit 5 wave propagations uh, in those uh, we are going to be uh, analyze about what is the introduction of the wave propagation okay i mean in this introduction we have some uh, thing called modes of wave propagation i mean uh, you uh, you people likely know that we have a tra transmitter antenna and we have a receiver antenna I mean the transmitter antenna transmits the signals uh, through channel and third particular signals are received by a receiver antenna right yeah I mean uh, this particular channel uh, we can call it as propagation path yeah I mean uh, the path of space the radio signals follows from transmitter antenna to receiver antenna is known as propagation path I mean uh, in simple words we can call the channel as uh, propagation path right I mean uh, uh, I mean as we discussed this is nothing but uh, modes of wave propagation right I mean uh, we have different types of modes of uh, propagation right one is uh, ground wave propagation one is a tropospheric uh, propagation and uh, another is ionospheric uh, wave propagation right I mean ground wave propagation tropospheric propagation and ionospheric propagation right yeah I mean uh, just clearly analyze this particular uh, uh, diagram here we um, this particular uh, thing of uh, what we call red colored is called our earth surface and this is the transmitter antenna and this is the uh, receiver antenna right the signals are traveling uh, I mean you such a likely uh, you can see here uh, the signals are passing here right uh, these signals passing from transmitter antenna to receiver antenna are quite closer to the ground right I mean uh, we can call it as the I mean these type of propagation we can call it as ground wave propagation right I mean uh, you can uh, clearly analyze uh, it as it is nothing but uh, uh, we can consider it, it as troposphere right I mean the distance between uh, ground I mean earth surface to troposphere is 16 kilometers what we indicated here right 16 kilometers right uh, I mean uh, when the transmitter antenna transmits the signals into channel third particular uh, signals are uh, gone through this particular troposphere and uh, it just uh, reflected now scattered or diffracted from this particular troposphere and it uh, quite uh, receives to receiver right I mean uh, we can call it as ground wave propagations ground wave propagations I mean uh, when the signals are reflected or scattered or diffracted from the troposphere and uh, then uh, it receive to the receiver antenna these type of uh, propagation we can call it as tropospheric propagations to uh, tropospheric propagations right I mean uh, the third part is nothing but when the transmitter antenna transmit the signal and those particular signals are quite uh, reflected from see here quite uh, reflected from ionosphere and then it uh, receives the receiver antenna right I mean uh, the distance between uh, at the surface to ionosphere is something we can call it as 40 to 500 kilometers right 40 to 500 kilometers right don't be quite confused right I mean uh, here uh, we have uh, mainly three type of uh, propagations uh, quite call it as one ground wave propagation two tropospheric propagation and three ionospheric propagations right I mean uh, when the signals uh, propagated uh, to transmit antenna to a receiver antenna uh, uh, I mean uh, the signal should be quite closer to earth surface right then the type of propagation is called it as ground wave propagations what we uh, said here right ground wave propagations first right and uh, when the transmit antenna transmit the signal and those uh, signals are quite uh, reflected or uh, diffracted or scattered from this particular layer called troposphere right uh, and it uh, receive the receiver antenna right I mean these type of propagations uh, are called as tropospheric propagations right I know sphere when the particular signals are uh, reflected or scattered from this particular ionosphere 
and uh, then it received to the receiver antenna then this type of uh, propagations is called it as ionospheric uh, propagations right i mean the distance from the earth to troposphere is 16 kilometers and the distance from the uh, earth to ionosphere is 40 to 500 kilometers here right uh, yeah then uh, we'll go for something called ground wave propagation see here the ground wave propagation is also known as surface wave propagation it is quite important point to note uh, the ground wave propagation is also known as surface wave propagation and the wave which propagate near to the earth uh, see here the signals are propagating near to the earth surface right i mean uh, the waves which propagate near to the earth surface is called it as ground waves and a ground wave propagation is possible when the transmitter antenna and receiver antenna is close to earth surface yeah uh, as possibly when the signals is radiating uh, uh, closer to the earth surface right i mean uh, it can be possible that the transmitter antenna and uh, receiver antenna is also quite closer to the earth surface right uh, these propagations is uh, practically important at frequencies up to 2 megahertz right it is important point right i mean uh, these uh, practically important um, up to 2 megahertz right i mean uh, we have another important parameter or expression the field strength of ground wave at the distance right uh, further it, uh, we have e is equals to 120 pi ht hr ia by lambda d then uh, what do you mean by 120 i mean uh, 120 we can note it as uh, 377 ohms as we studied in emtl nor antennas in first chapter 377 ohms is nothing but free space intrinsic impedance and ht is nothing but height of the transmitter antenna what you have seen here height of the transmitter antenna and hr uh, we can note it as height of the receiver antenna ia is nothing but antenna current i mean uh, we have two antennas right transmitter and receiver i mean ia is nothing but uh, we can call it as uh, antenna current lambda is nothing but uh, wavelength and d i mean here is lambda d right d is nothing but distance at a point from the transmitter is i mean uh, in this class uh, we will end uh, these particular uh, ground wave propagations tomorrow i will explain about topospheric and ionospheric propagations right thank you